Hi everyone, I'm Laurenzio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Juiced games I found for Java. Juiced Eliminator was for me a mixed bag. The game is great on paper, but something about it didn't engage me as much. In your career mode, you have free roam. You have a city to roam in, and you drive to each racer on the map and challenge them to races. By winning races, you earn more cash, and with cash you can upgrade your vehicle. I have to mention here that upgrades are only performance wise. You can put spoilers, bumpers, vinyls and so on on your car. The only aesthetic change you can make on your car is the color. While racing the camera is top down, similar to GT1 and 2, problem is if you play on an actual Java phone, no emulator, the cars are too tiny, which makes things hard. There's a lot going on on screen, but this time it's a double-edged sword. The effects might steal your eyes, but if you play the game on an emulator, the small cars won't be that bothersome to you. Also, this game has some nice effects and plenty of details. The tracks will start to feel repetitive though at some point because you race in a city during the night, in the same city you free roam in, which means that you'll drive on the same roads a lot and use the same tracks. That's usual in other racing games of this sort. Only that here, from the bird's eye view, the tracks gave me the repetition sensation faster than in other games. Just Eliminator 3D feels like an Android game on beta, and that says a lot about a Java game, if it looks like the next generation. In the game you have to race for money. And with money you can upgrade your cars, again only performance wise. As for tracks, it's nice that you now, not only that you get plenty of tracks, but this time at least, they are set in different locations. They look visually distinct. And the graphics are amazing. If your phone can handle the game, it's a feast to your eyes. Gameplay wise, the controls are okay, nothing special about them and nothing to really complain about. It's interesting that in the game, the main focus is not to scrape the guardrail. Because if you touch the guardrail, you lose in speed and opponents overtake you. You have to drive as clean as possible in order to win in the game. The game is good. Just 2 is 3D, which is a plus, but it has a drawback that some of you might not like. The game has plenty of tracks, around 20 I think, but there's a catch. The tracks are distinct in layout, but not in looks. All tracks look the same, no matter that you race in San Francisco, London or Japan, you're going to see the same buildings. And the tracks thus will feel the same. In cars you get 4, a decent number for a 3D racing game. And you can upgrade the car. Sadly, you can upgrade them only performance wise. Visually you can only change the color. The controls are good, in the racing department I don't have anything to say. It's a bummer that the game doesn't have tuned cars and more distinct tracks, because it would have been amazing to have those. Like this, the game is only good, but there are better 3D racing games out there. Also the game has a 2D version, which sadly has the same content and structure. It even feels almost like a 3D version, which is great for those of you who can't run the game in 3D, but sad because you still get the same looking tracks, and only a handful of cars, which content wise is really poor for a 2D Java game. But at least the gameplay, just like in the 3D version, is kind of outstanding. It's different from other racing games, and different in a good way.